In this issue of Shareable Science, Beyond the Blog, we're going to talk about coronaviruses, what they are, how they infect cells, and how they sometimes jump from one organism to another, like in humans. So stay tuned, let's talk about coronavirus. Welcome to Shareable Science. Science you can share. Coronaviruses are a type of virus, a family of viruses. There are lots of different types of viruses in general. Influenza viruses that cause the common flu, adenoviruses that are one of the causes of common colds, and coronavirus. In order to talk about coronavirus, let's pull back and talk about viruses in general. Viruses are infectious agents. They cause infectious disease. They're incredibly small, much smaller than bacteria. You have to see them with a microscope. They have a really simple structure, both the outside of the virus and the genetic material that's on the inside. And they require a host in order to replicate. So they are non-living. On their own, they can't reproduce. They have to infect another cell in order to do that. Now, when we talk about coronaviruses specifically, coronaviruses have a spherical shape. This looks a little bit kind of like the Death Star, um, and that's the extent of my Star Wars content knowledge. But it has these spikes all around them, um, these specific proteins around a hard protein shell. And inside that shell, if you opened it up, you would actually see the genetic material. Now, some viruses use DNA as their genetic material, Coronavirus actually uses RNA, a, a similar type of nucleic acid. So this virus, now as it infects a cell, we're going to move down to this image. So the first thing that happens is that the coronavirus actually has to gain entry into the cell. And it does that by finding a protein that sits on the outside of the cell and binding to it. So viruses have evolved over the years to find their right entry point. Coronavirus specifically uses a protein called ACE. We'll dig into that in a later session of shareable science. But so it binds through the ACE protein, it docks, and then in that docking, it actually then binds its surface to the surface of the cell, to the cell membrane, and it's engulfed inside the cell. And then once it's engulfed inside the cell, it spits out its RNA material, its genetic material. Now I'm going to skip through a couple of steps just for simplicity's sake, but essentially the genetic material of the coronavirus then hijacks the machinery of the cell and requires the cell to use the coronavirus's genetic information to make all of the component parts of the virus. So the cell, once it's infected, essentially becomes a giant manufacturing plant whose now sole purpose is to make all of the individual pieces for coronavirus and then fit them all together. So we make copies of the RNA information, we make copies of the protein shell, of the spike proteins, of other proteins, and then we assemble those into this army of now new replicated coronavirus. And then they're surrounded by a cell membrane, they're encapsulated, and they move to the edge of the cell, the surface of the cell, and they bud off, and they then can spread and can infect other cells. So this process, one cell is infected, you make thousands of viruses that then can infect thousands of cells, and then the process continues. So that's when we talk about something going viral, it's that concept that one to thousands to tens of thousands and so on. So that's the essential process of what happens of how a coronavirus infects cells. This is the moment where you can laugh at all of my drawings and I will be completely fine with that. There are 39 different species of coronavirus. They vary from each other only slightly on the basis of their RNA genetic code. And primarily, when they infect organisms, they cause either respiratory and or gastrointestinal symptoms. There are several different hosts that these coronaviruses infect. I've just shown you a handful of them, pig, chicken, bat, and human. Generally, different types of coronaviruses have a favorite organism that they primarily infect. So most of the time, the infection stays specifically within one type of organism. But occasionally, you'll actually have a virus that started in one organism, 
that now actually has found a way to infect another organism. So it's jumped from its original host into another host. That's what we've had happen with, co with COVID-19, with this specific coronavirus. Over the last 20 years, there have been three different coronavirus species that have jumped from their original animal host into humans. You might remember SARS, sev uh, severe, uh, um, <laughs> severe acute, I'm looking at my cheat sheet over here, severe acute respiratory syndrome, which was in 2002-2003, MERS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, which first was a, uh, present in 2012, and we very rarely see it even today, but really small numbers of cases. And then COVID-19, coronavirus disease, that we first saw in 2019 in China, um, that has now become a, a global pandemic. So it's rare that we see this kind of transmission. And we think that this particular COVID-19, that the virus that causes it, which is here, SARS-CoV-2. So in this case, here are the viruses, here are the names of the disease caused by those viruses. We think that this virus came from a bat. We're not 100% certain it may have actually traveled through another animal before it got to humans. But there's our key background, coronaviruses, a family of viruses, simple structure, infect cells, produce more of them, kill the cell when they spread out to the surrounding cells, generally live within one animal host, but sometimes transfer to another. And three different times throughout history, throughout the last 20 years, we've seen that jump from another animal to humans. So we'll tackle in the other sessions issues around severity and symptoms and prevention and all those pieces. But this gives us kind of some background to work with going forward. So thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in to Shareable Science Behind the Blog. And this is Science Worth Sharing.